Hello guys and welcome back to Beerkanix Garage. Today this is just going to be a little update episode on the Audi S3 8V. So if you haven't watched our channel before or have seen the previous video, we basically went to a tuner to get a stage 3 tune as well as a TCU tune, which is basically the transmission. Unfortunately, there was some issue out of that. To start with, all of the sounds the car normally make were all gone. And unfortunately, the transmission wasn't mapped properly, which means that basically, even though in theory, we have much more power, we can't put it down. So the North to 60 on the quarter mile on the car are currently the same if anything, sometimes worse than the car was capable of at 400 brake horsepower. So, if you've seen the previous episode where we sort of put some crackle back on off throttle, I've been to going to Matt's map, great guy, but unfortunately, Matt were not was not able to basically go to a point where we could actually fix the sound properly. So <clears throat> on downshift, you still have the really silly over the top, pop, 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 pop for half an hour. The off throttle is a lot better like you <coughs> heard in the previous one. It's not as powerful as they used to be. And, you know, it, it sounds great, but it still feel a bit put in. Uh, well, it's always put in, if you know what I mean. They, they put it in stock as well. But yeah, it's still not quite the existing behavior. So that's why I think also, I know I mentioned Deval's development on, you know, they haven't really got back to my email. So no critics there. Some companies are just not great with dealing with email. But I'm very tempted to basically bring it back to AMD, AMD tuning. AMD tuning, the only little issue I've got with them based on their work really was mostly mechanical stuff. Like, for example, the fact that my engine mount wasn't mounted properly on basically like defigured while put in <laughs> and yes they forgot the lambda sensor specific tool so that was left on my exhaust you know the tool to remove the sensor not a big one didn't create any issue the engine mount was but here in this instance everything is installed already so Essentially, all they have to do is tune it. Um, I do need to look. The car seems to have a small issue, and this does seems to have a coolant leak somewhere. I never see any coolant underneath the car, but generally, every few weeks, the car will complain, and I have to top up the coolant. So I'm tempted to ask MD Tuning to take care of that, and the car is due for a service anyway. So even though I need to recover finance-wise, you know, I've got a car that I don't enjoy at the minute. It's not its potential, it's not what it used to be where you can trust it to deliver the power, it cannot deliver the power. So, you know, I just have to bite the bullet and also the Val's development got a major, major reputation. AMD tuning reputation is good and I will say this, AMD tuning I've done a job I was satisfied with. So, you know, instead of being like, all right, let's try another person again, I kind of feel like I should have done what I should have done the first time and basically go back to the tuner, which I was 100% pleased with their tune. And, you know, in a lot of extent, it's my fault from, you know, I mean, I, I, I sort of followed um, recommendation, I guess. Um, but, you know, I could have done more groundwork. Ultimately, the choice was mine to make. make. And, you know, I'll say 
I should have gone back to AMD tuning. So I know some of you were excited about the whole device development stuff and it might very much still happen going forward in the future, but AMD tuning is more likely to have a slot earlier than device development and them being sort of local to me also means that I can organize going down there and get a lift back or whatever very easily too. And they actually race an Audi S3 8V. So, you know, I really don't think the lack of knowledge will be present. Plus, I want it to sound exactly like it sounded before on AMD tuning is going to have a copy of the last tune they've done for my car, which will have exactly the behavior I want the car to have the exact off throttle and stuff like that. So to me, at least, you know, feel free to comment below guys, if you've got other opinion on stuff like that, as you, as you can see, I'm basically in a bit of a pickle with a powerful car that can't really put the power down and doesn't sound or it's just not as enjoyable as, as it used to be. So I'm kind of thinking it makes sense to go to the tuner that set up the behavior and, you know, that I absolutely adore. I had never had issue with it. Have another pass, reset it, and then moving forward, we will see. Because I'm pretty sure I'm the tuning when it comes to like pushing further to stage three might have some limitation as well. Um, but we will see when we get there, uh, basically. But yeah. You know, this is not like a mega cool video with like tons of ripping on, you know, making the car do silly stuff. I wish we could do more stuff like that. I am gagging to do north to 60, quarter mile, 100 to 200. We've never done those. We should do those. But until the car is sorted, I can't really fix it. So, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult. And unfortunately for you guys, it does mean, you know, you might get to run videos a bit more than a S3 video for the time being. Once I'm booked in with AMD tuning, I will let you guys know and I will obviously bring you on the journey and we can see what the result is there. And yeah, this is about it for the tuning issue. A second point I wanted to discuss is now that I've got the Touran, which I can use as a daily, and I live with the Mrs., which also have a car, is it the time to strip down the S3? As in, remove everything, turn it into a two-seater for now, just in case I can always shove the seat back in, I don't have the budget to like do the cage and replace the seats quite yet, but that will happen and there is some stripping done we can do now that's essentially free, we still remove some weight and at least it's still some progress being done on the Audi S3 while, you know, we are waiting for basically the power plant to be sorted properly. Uh, you know, it was going to happen at some point, uh, you know, so again, that's why maybe, you know, sometimes I get comments that my car is a bit dirty or the exterior on the interior don't get taken care of after enough, but the interior, most of it will get stripped, will probably just be left with the dashboard and maybe the central console, if that. And when it comes to the body, if you've been following us for a while, you know that I want a custom aluminum square body kit. So literally every panel on the car is going to get chopped. And after all of that work is done and everything is chopped and everything, the car will get a kick-ass livery. So do not worry, you know, it will, it's not that it's getting, not getting loved, is that there is a long-term plan for it and the amount of love you will get when it's ready look wise uh you know it will get it basically <laughs> anyway guys uh you know yeah sorry this week video is not more entertaining but i thought i'll do an update just to let you guys 
some of you are going to be wondering what's going on with the tune and stuff like that so I just thought I'll give you guys an update and yeah that's pretty much it for for that yeah uh, I think you know I'm going to start cracking on with the Turan let me know down below should we start stripping this thing or should I hold fire for a bit longer I'm, I don't know I'm quite tempted to, to keep cracking and I know I keep looking back when I'm talking to you guys it's just looking at what needs to be removed you know and I think some of those seeds I might reuse in the Turan and maybe put the Corvette seat in the Turan as well <laughs> so the Turan is a rad project but will have very comfy seat because it's still a family car so uh, yeah anyway guys if you want to find out uh, what happened with the S3 and you're not subscribed yet, please do. There will be a follow-up video very soon on crossed finger AMD tuning can see the car very soon too. If you want to see more video about the S3, go check the playlist. There is actually more than a hundred videos uh, on this S3 with mods you can do and mods unless you're mad you wouldn't do it <laughs> but uh, yeah plenty to watch basically on the platform and if you love other cars we've got a bunch of other projects you can go check out too anyway guys see you in the next one bye